So the first thing that we've done after removing the oil spray is install the new one that comes with the kit. And that's torqued down to 10 newton meters. Okay, and so once you've got this chain all lined up, once this sprocket is in place, the marking on the sprocket itself will line up with the marking on the casting. Then I have put the, um, the guides in and I've put some Loctite on the bolt. And these have to be torqued up to 20 newton meters. And then the high pressure fuel pump sprocket bolt can then be tightened down to 65 newton meters. And now the tensioner can go on. And these two bolts are torqued up to 10 newton meters. And the tension of pin can just be pulled out and obviously the chain is now under tension. You see that needs to go around the other tooth. Isn't it? We've got a bit more. Thanks. Okay then, so once you've done with the tensioner, you then want to put the top chain on and you want to put the camshaft sprocket in place and you want to put the chain on, but you just want to put it loosely. And, uh, and then get the guides and everything in place. And then we need to put the flywheel back on and put the locking pin in and then find top dead center for the crankshaft. And then the guides can then go into place. So obviously there's the one here with just the one bolt in and then there's the guide that goes here, comes out the top with these two bolts in and these will need to be locked tied in because they go into the cylinder head. And then the tensioner for the um, timing chain at the top that is just loosely fitted in there, but we will not know if this is in the correct position until, like I said, we um, put the locking pin into the flywheel. And now that the bolts for the guides have been torqued up to 20 newton meters, actually gonna go ahead and put the oil pump chain on with the oil pump sprocket. But to get to this point, we had to lock the crankshaft to 45 degrees after top dead center with this crankshaft locking tool and then with the bolt in place just there. Okay then, so with the oil pump chain and the oil pump sprocket in place, this has to be taught to five newton meters plus 90 degrees. And now all three of the camshaft sprocket bolts can go in, but they're not going to be torqued up yet. Obviously we need to put the timing cover back on, the flywheel back on, get it back to top dead center, and then check that everything's all in timed. But we can now go ahead and tighten up the uh, top tensioner. So it is a 24 millimeter bolt. Okay, so with the flywheel now back on, with the locking pin back in place, the crankshaft is now locked at top dead center. And now the three camshaft sprocket bolts can be torqued up to 15 newton meters.
And now the engine is being rotated twice just to make sure everything is in time. Okay then, so the engine time is perfect. The camshafts are in time with the crankshaft. We've taken the uh, flywheel and the timing cover back off because obviously it needs to be sealed in place. Now there is actually two gaskets, well two forms of gaskets that you can use. There is the one that already came on the timing cover, which I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use again, or there is actually some RTV silicone, which is the high temperature silicone, and that comes with the timing chain kit. Um, I think what I'm probably gonna do is use the original gasket in combination with the RTV silicone. Um, so I'm gonna put the silicone on the engine itself, go ahead and put this gasket on and then put more silicone on this and then put the timer cover in place then. But before we put the timer cover on, I think what I'm gonna do is torque down the high pressure fuel pump and then put them two brackets back on. And the two bolts that hold the high pressure fuel pump in place are the top one and the bottom one. They just both have to be done up to eight newton meters. Okay then, so now that both of the brackets for the high pressure fuel pump are on and they are torqued up, we can actually go ahead and reinstall the glow plug module and that sits on to the oil filter housing just there. But I actually have a new glow plug module. I figured that because I'm replacing all four glow plugs, I may as well just install a new glow plug module as well. So we just need to get the old one off and then fit the new one in place. Okay then, so with the glow plug module bolted to this bracket, this can now be fitted in place with these two bolts. Right, so that is the timing cover back on all of the M7 bolts. That's these um, Torx bolts, they have to be 15 newton meters. And the ones in the top, the M8 bolts, they are 20 newton meters. And now the sump's back on. So that is the sump back on now with all of the bolts torqued up to 24 newton meters and also torqued the uh, sump plug as well just while, while I remember that's 25 newton meters. And then the next thing to go on is the starter motor it's just held in by three bolts. Okay then, so the flywheel is now back on, all eight bolts torqued to 120 newton meters.